it's Amma Cal time and today we're going to do part four, which is the Amma Thora square. And we're going down the line of my grannies. Amma Lola, my great grandmother, Amma Maria, my granny, and Amma Thora is actually my mom, so she's my son's <laughs> granny. Uh, this one is a bit different. She got to choose hers. So it's this one here, the circular one, you see? So it's a bit different from the other ones, but it really gives an extra something to the blanket to have a circular form as well. So I'm going to show you again just the middle part and then the rest is the same as always. And before we get to that, I just wanted to share with you what I'm working at, on at the moment. And it, when it's autumn, then I go crazy making mittens. Ah! <laughs> I make some, no, the boys don't want any of these anymore, they're too big, they say it's childish, but I still use these. So I always make mittens in the in the autumn, and now I'm taking it a step further, and I made some mosaic ones that I really want to show you. So these here are the prototype, and they are quite nice. Ah! <laughs> don't you think? But then I just want to start with like a simple pattern for my first mosaic mittens and then I realized I can make them with loads of colors and now I've made this one. absolutely love it and I can fit 16 colors in this one and actually I think I can fit a bit more so I'm just going to go completely cray cray making mittens now so now you know what's coming after the amaka it will be mitten a time so without further ado <laughs> Amathora today. Okay, so today we're going to do Amathora. Amathora is my mum, Thora. That's why I'm Thoru Dottir, daughter of Thora. Uh, and yes, this is the Icelandic Thop. <laughs> it's pronounced as th, th, like TH. And so Thora is just basically the, the female version of Thor, who is our thunder god, Thor, yeah? Anyways, enough of that. Uh, so this is Amathora. Uh, since Amma Thora is the only Amma who is still amongst us, she was. She, I told my mom she could pick out the which uh, center she liked the best to bear her name, and she chose the this lovely star. And so I really like with this one that we're breaking it up a bit and doing a circular form in the middle, which really does give it a bit of a an extra oomph, the whole design. And so there are lots of uh, color play options, obviously, here as before. So usually it will just be, you can you can make the first three rounds in the same color. If you're just doing a two color center, you can, I, here I made it all just two colors, just one color B for the whole blanket, but let's just imagine that, you know, you could do another color for the petals, but then for the center, if you just use two colors, then it'll look like this, like a star. So the first three rounds are actually in the same color A, and then we start with color B, yeah? But then there is also the option to do a different color center, which I really like, actually. This one looks more like a flower. This one looks more like a star, right? So when you when you don't do a different color center, then it really looks like a star. But when you do it like this, then it looks more like a flower, maybe. And then here I have uh, this, the extra, some accent color in the center in the first round. And then there's two rounds of white and then I start with my color B and as you can see there is you can see a bit the white here you know in the I really like this one mm -mm -mm. and then there is uh, this option here so I don't know if you can see it you can't see it you see there is uh, I did the first color with the uh, accent color and then rounds two and three I did with this pink so then these little bits here are pink inside of the the rusty blue here. So the rusty blue, rusty red. So I think this gives like an extra oomph, but you kind of have to even when you when you're um, uh, what you call it, blocking it, you kind of even have to sort of pull these up because they want to get lost there. So this is like an extra if you want some extra color, you can do this and then you can also work the uh, here I did uh, the same color for the center as for the for the for the rest of the color B. So I started with color B and then did rounds two and three in color in this different color A. So you can add like a different color inside here. So if we just check the back here, I did color the first round with color B, rounds two and three with a different color A. Four is in the color B for the flower. Five is this different color A. Six is the color last color 
B for the flower and then I just did my white color A here for round seven and that is actually my next point so obviously I you know I have no control of <laughs> what colors you choose for your blankets but it is very important in my opinion that we keep especially in this one actually and in all of them that always round seven is in the main color that you're using up here because the thing is that if you do that one in a different color which might be tempting then so the the idea with the with the star the the what do you call it? the nature of the eight petal rose <laughs> is that it's a uh, you know it's all uh, sort of symmetrical you know and if we do this last round here then the center goes sort of outside here and it ends like to be ends like being bigger of a box than the petals are framing it up and it's just it's just just take my word for it it's not good so please do remember to use uh, your your main color here in color in round seven but then you can as i said really play a lot with what you do with the center flower in amathora i am going to do my favorite bit which is to use one extra accent color for round one and then this lovely curry here i'm going to use this this yellow for the center and then curry for the rest of the star and then just white for color B. So I've already done round one because it's always the same. It's just the, the 15 half double crochets and then join with an invisible join. So we have 16 stitches here and I've already worked in my ends because it's just nicer. Okay, so that was round one. On to round two. Okay, on to round two of Amathora. So as before, we can just start wherever we want into the back loop of any stitch from round one. Pull your yarn up and chain one. And now we get to the repeat here, which is two single crochets into the next stitch. One and two, and then one single crochet into that the next one. And we do this eight times total. And I always just count one, two, three. And I go one, two, whoops, and three. One, two into the same, and three. One, two, three. I'm gonna drop my tail here, I've been working over that. One, two into the same, and three. One, two, three. No, 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 no. Okay, one, two, three, and now we have we have done this seven times, and we have our last repeat here, and the we do one two, one two here, two single crochets into the last stitch, and then the last stitch, the the single crochet here goes into the same stitch as we did our chain. Okay, so one and two and one here into the same as we did the chain into and we can continue with color a so we join into the back loop of the first single crochet of the round with the same color the same yarn no need to cut with a slip stitch like so okay this does not look perfect it will be great after the next round <laughs> tuck at your tail snippity snap and that's round one of Amathora, all done. Okay, did I say round one? We were obviously finishing round two. <laughs> On to round three. And we're going to do one chain. And we get straight onto our repeat, which is three single crochets. One into each of the next three back loops here. One, two, three. And then we're going to do one double crochet. And this double crochet is actually the increase in this round. So we're going to do it straight just below the last single crochet stitch you made. And obviously into round one. So now we yarn over and we follow this last stitch we made and we follow it down here. And we're going to work into this stitch here. Pull your yarn up. And now we have three on our hook and pull through two and two. And now we have to take care because this is the increase that we're working into. We already worked into this stitch here. And now we're going to do again three single crochets and we have to take care that we're working in the single crochets are going to into each and every stitch here from last round from round two and the double crochet is the increase now okay so another repeat three single crochets 
and one double. And another trick is that we're always working our double crochets into uh, every other stitch from round one. So now I see I worked mine into this one, so I'm not going to work into this one, but I'm going to do it into this one, okay? And it's also just below the last single crochet stitch you did. So yarn over, whoop, what's happening? <laughs> and one double crochet. Okay, that's two times. We're going to do our repeat eight times. Again, we go. And when you start with the first of the three single crochets, just uh, um, tuck at your DC here a bit to the right, to the left if you're left-handed. And then you see the stitch here that we're going into. One, two, and three. And double down to eat every other stitch of round one, the DCs. And again, one, two and three single crochets and one double crochet and three singles and one double and it's really neat to just be able to check here you see here i worked into this one i'm not going to work into this one i'm going to this one here okay we have done one, two, three, four, five repeats, three to go. And we go again, three single crochets. One double, that's six then. And then one, two, three, and double. And now we do our last repeat, which is one, two, three, and double. Okay, so you see here how the double crochets are always going into every other stitch from round one. Yeah, and now we join into the first single crochet of the round, into the back loop of the first out of the three here we did at the beginning of the round with our new color B. Now we go back to B using B again, and we join with a slip stitch, whoop, whoop, and chain one just to fasten it. Like so. So that was round three in Amathora. On to round four. And now we start using our color B for every even number round from here on. And here is when the fun starts. So we start with chain one, which we already did. And then we do two single crochets. And I'm going to work over my tail here. So it's one and two single crochets into the back loop always and the next stitch is the tra the double crochet from last round and we are going to do two trebles together each one situated in the stitches from round one before and after this treble and that's basically into the stitches that we left without working into from round one yeah so we're going to do one treble on this side and one treble on this side and then uh, uh, close them together. So it's two two trebles work together. So for a treble we yarn twice, we uh, yarn over twice and then we go down here to round one to the stitch here just on the right side of our double crochet from last round. Left side if you're left-handed. Okay and we pull our yarn up and then we have four loops up on our hook and we work through two and two and leave it like this without finishing it. And then we go again yarn over twice and then we go into the stitch here on the other side of our DC from last round. I'm going to work the second treble into that one. So we pull our yarn up from the stitch we're working into and then we go through two and two and now we have two trebles up on our hook and we're going to close them together like so. Okay, that was the beginning of the repeat for round four. And now we are going to do three single crochets and take care that the three single crochets just go into the three single crochets here from last round. So you might have to, you know, just one and I'm continuing to work over my tail here. One, two and three. Okay, this was one repeat. Let's do it again. So we're going to do another set of trebles two together here around this DC here and now our first treble goes into the same stitch as our last treble here. So actually we're working two trebles into each of these stitches here that we have left from round one. Okay, 
off we go i'm not going to work over my tail while doing the treble so i'm just going to drop that one there yarn over twice go back here into the same stitch as you did your last treble pull your yarn up and then go through two and two and again yarn over twice and go into the stitch here from round one on the other side of the dc from last round like so pull your yarn up from the stitch we're working into and then you go through two and two and now we have two trebles up on our hook and we're going to close them together yarn over and go through all three here whoop -a -da. and to finish the repeat and i'm going to catch my tail here again and we work three single crochets okay i worked enough over my tail here so i'm just going to drop it and now we've done this repeat two times and we're supposed to do it seven times total so i'm just going to continue and do the same again two trebles together situated on each side of the DC from last round like so and then take them together and three single crochets and this tail is getting into my way so I am just going to tuck at it and cut it and be done with it Okay, we've done three repeats, so four more to go. Two trebles together, each side of the DC. And close them together, and three DCs. Okay, I'm torn if I should cut and do the rest or just do it with you i'll just do it with you <laughs> so as you can see we're always working two trebles into the same stitch here this one the second of these two and the first of these two yeah and you can see how our little star flower is emerging okay again we go two trebles together one leave it here unfinished and two and leave it unfinished and close them together and three single crochets. Again we go. One and two. Close them together. And three single crochets. And again we go. Whoops. Yarn over twice. Travel here one to the back and another one on the other side of the DC go like so and one two and three and now we've done our seven repeats and then we finish the round by doing again two trebles and now the first one goes here into the last treble the same stitch as the last treble and the second one goes into the same stitch as the first treble of the round funny word treble <laughs> okay and the second one here and we close them together and now we just finish the round with one single crochet because we started it with two single crochets so we have three here in between as well work over our upcoming yarn here with the with the last single crochet and then we um join into the back loop of the first single crochet of the round using our color a i was tucking at it first so everything is nice and neat okay so this was round four all done for amathora and our little star is happening here <laughs> on we go to round uh, five and now we're working with our main color again and always now in every odd rump number row round is the is color a again now and we start by doing one chain and then we do two single crochets into the next stitch which is just just below here this next single crochet here so we're going to do two double crochets and work them here down to round three one and two into the same stitch okay and now we start with our repeat 
for round five. And that is one single crochet into the treble here, two together. And then we're going to do two double crochets here into the next stitch. And this stitch is a bit hidden here behind our treble. So we have to kind of push it to the sides. Whoops. Yarn over and find it here. There we go. Two into that one. Okay, and then we do one extended DC. And this one is actually worked into the stitches from round two, all the way down here, you see. So we're not working into round three, we're working into round two, the one here down here. So extended DC is just uh, like a normal one. You yarn over once, and then you go all the way down to round two here. And we pick up our yarn, and then we have to three uh, loops up on our hook like normally for a DC, but an extended DC, then we uh, get the yarn, yarn over and pull it just through one stitch first and then we yarn over and pull through two and again two. Okay, and now we do our two DCs into the next stitch and that's just a normal one into round three here. Okay, and that was the repeat then for round five. We do one single crochet here into the top of the treble two together, then we do two double crochets into the next stitch, which is a bit hidden, so you have to kind of nudge these over to find it. Then we do one extended DC into the middle stitch here from round two, all the way down to round two. And then we do two double crochets here into next stitch from round three. Okay, let's do it once more together. We're going to do the repeat seven times here in this round. And I've done one and I'm going to do number two again with you. Okay, so first there's one single crochet here into the two trebles together. Then we're going to do two double crochets in the next stitch. And again, we have to cut, kind of find it here. It's right here. Oops, split the yarn. There we go. Bit hidden there behind the trebles or the treble. Okay, two DC, D, double crochets here, and then we're going to do one extended DC all the way here down to round two. You kind of have to go fishing for that one. And then we pull our yarn up like normally out of the stitch we're working into. We have three loops up on our hook and we're going to do an extended DC. So we yarn over and pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two through two. <laughs> pull through two. <laughs> so there's an, one extra step there at the beginning to do an extended DC, just to get a bit longer. And then we do two double crochets into the next stitch here, which is just normally from round three. Okay, so we've done two repeats. I'm going to do five more and then show you how to finish the round. Okay, I've done all seven repeats now. And to finish the round, we do one single crochet into the trebles two together. And then we're going to do two double crochets here into the next stitch. And that stitch is actually a join. So we can choose from the upper and the lower one. We're always going to choose the lower one. There we go. One and two DCs into that one. And then we finish the round with one extended DC worked here down to round one. And there's this one extra step here of just going through one and then two and two. And now we're going to join into the back loop of the first double crochet of the round using our color B with a slip stitch and chain one just to fasten it. And OK, so in the pattern uh, now I say cut yarn A. Uh, I'm not going to cut mine here, actually. <laughs> I actually don't. I just didn't know how to explain this written, but I'm going to show you a little trick so you don't have to cut a if you're not changing color. Obviously, if you were doing it like this one, then you would just cut it. OK, but if you're continuing with the same color A as I am, you don't have to cut it. I'm going to show you a little trick. And also, don't worry, it's a bit ruffled, ruffled at this point. That is because we did a lot of rip, uh, increase here in this round because next round has no increase. So it's sort of just like uh, we did two rounds worth of decrease here. So don't worry if it's ruffling a bit. It's supposed to do that. The ruffling round. OK, so this was round five in Amathora. Dee, dee, dee. OK, on to round six. And that is the last round with this color B here, the, the center color B. 
and we are now going to do I already did the chain one and we're going to do one single crochet and now we start with the repeat for round six and that is one front post DC around the treble two together from round four okay around these two here together so we're going to yarn over and do a front post DC by putting our hook behind the two trebles together here and pull our yarn up and as always give it a bit of a slack here and then yarn over and go through two and yarn over and go through two so we're extending our little star here yeah and then we do five single crochets and those five go here into all the DC's from last round the two DC's together in the same stitch and then there was the extended DC and then the other two so we have five single crochets and as you can see, we are not doing any repeat, any increase in this round. That hence the excessive increase in last round. But this way we get a perfect circle in this one. <laughs> okay, this was one repeat. We're gonna do eight. Uh, and again, we go one front post around the treble two together from round four. And pull your yarn a bit up here. And Go like this two and two and five single crochets so this is a very simple and very just satisfying round I love doing this round where I'm like giving this extra oomph, oomph to the stars here so front post around the treble two together yay and then five single crochets and this gives us a perfect circle Such fun, such fun. I think I'll just do this one with you. Do all the repeats, it's kind of quick. Anyways. Front post around the treble two together. Always pulling it up just a bit. And again, as always with the front post, like do not hesitate to undo them and get them perfect because they really are so lovely when they're nice and then sometimes they kind of turn out a bit murky and you know it just makes all the difference to have these shiny nice the front posts mm, look what's happening We're getting our beautiful star and always five single crochets in between the front posts and the single crochets obviously always go into the back loop okay almost done this was repeat seven and in the eighth repeat we do the front post again and then we're going to finish by doing four single crochets instead of five because we had one here already made and we're going to do one and two and three and we do the fourth and i don't want you to work over your tail here now <laughs> that was very authoritarian of me <laughs> no because i'm always saying work your last single crochet of the round uh, around the the upcoming tail we're not going to do that because we're going to do a little trick and so the last single crochet goes here in the join and so, and now we are going to cut our color B because we really want to have a perfect circle here. It's so important for this design. We cut the color B and we're going to pull the yarn all the way up like so. And then we are going to do a an invisible join here to complete our perfect circle for the center of Amathora. Okay, and when we do the invisible join as always we have to take care to work it over one stitch here because we can't go just right into the next stitch then we're adding a stitch so we work it here into the first front post of the round that we did put your needle here under both loops from front to back and go here over and remember with the invisible join we don't want to tuck too tightly because we want to have the same gauge we want the stitch to be just perfect just perfect you guys <laughs> and then we go back into the uh, the back loop only of the last single crochet we did here 
like so. And as you can see, and tuck it a bit. Oh, yes, 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 it's perfect. And so now our invisible join is here forming one stitch and it looks just gorgeous. And we're just going to be able to have our, our, our yarn thread to the needle. So we'll just weave in this end here. And again, don't tuck it at too um, strong, fast. What? No, not fast. <laughs> fast in Icelandic means strong. <laughs> uh, don't tuck it too much because we want the last stitch, the invisible join, to be the same gauge as the other stitches. Okay, here we go. And we can cut that one. Like so. Et voila, we have a perfect circle. <laughs> such fun yay I really do like this one this is actually uh, one of the stars one of the beginnings of my fiesta pattern and I just liked it so much that I wanted to use it again recycling <laughs> well, I mean when once you've done something that's pretty darn good why not use it again yeah so yeah I'll just I'm just watching this and you know admiring it <laughs> perfect circle round six of Amathora okay just one more round to go round seven to show you with Amathora okay on to round seven and the last round that I'm showing you here with Amathora because then eight to twenty three are all exactly the same as Amasaga that I already showed you completely okay so the trick here is that in the pattern I say cut this yarn here but it's not strictly necessary because we are almost at the right spot here but I do Really, um, it's important to cut after finishing round six with this one to get the perfect circle. But now I'm going to show you how I just uh, move this one up without cutting it if using the same color A here in continuance. So the first of all, round seven is all worked into the back loop of each stitch. And again, it's important to use color A for this round seven and not a different color B or like an accent color or something. So what we're going to do is we're going to find our... Uh, front post here this one here which is closest to our tail here and then we're going to count three stitches to the right from the front post DC and fasten your color A with a chain stitch into the back loop uh, if you're left-handed then you will count to the left if you're right-handed like I am then you will count to the right so we found our front post here and then we count one two and three stitches here and instead of just fastening a new chain a new yarn you are here at this at the right spot really from round uh, five so we're just going to take it up right here and you will see it a bit on the back you will see it here okay so if you cannot live with this then you know cut your yarn <laughs> if you can and just be happy and do it like i'm doing <laughs> Okay, so we pulled our yarn up through the back loop here of the third stitch to the right from a front double crochet and we're going to do one chain to fasten. And off we go. Uh, we start by doing one half double crochet into the next stitch and all, and all this round is worked into the back loops. Okay, so one half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to do two double crochets into the next stitch, both into the same, one and two. And now we're going to make a corner in the next stitch. And there we do. And this is the next stitch here is the front post. And here we do one double crochet, two chains and one double crochet into the same stitch. This is a corner that we're making here because obviously we have a circle and we want to make a square. Okay, and now we get to the repeat for round seven, and that is two double crochets into the next stitch. Whoops. Always into the back loop. One and two. One half double crochet into the next stitch. And then seven single crochets. One, two, Three, and the fourth is supposed to land on a front post. Four, five, six, and seven. And then we do one half double crochet into the next stitch, two double crochets into the next stitch, and then we finish the repeat by doing 
one double crochet, two chains and one double crochet all into the back loop of the front post stitch here, the same stitch. So one double, two chains, one double. Okay, so this was the repeat. Two double crochets into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next, seven single crochets, one half double crochet, two double crochets into the next one, and then a double crochet, two chains, and double crochet into the next one. Okay, I'll do one more repeat with you. And as you can see, we are making corners here and turning this circle into a square. Okay, again with the second repeat, two DCs into the next stitch, one half double crochet, seven singles, and the fourth one lands in the front post, five, six, and seven, one half double crochet into the next stitch, two double crochets into the next one, and a double chain two double into the next one. That's the corner in the making here. Okay, as you can see, our circle is turning into a square. So I'm gonna do, well, I can just do the repeat here. Well, it's just one more repeat. So what I do try to do, uh, one little trick here, when you're doing the two DCs here together. So I'll try to do the, the DC that is closer to the corner, just like a normal DC, and then the second one, which is just, that is going to be next to the half double crochet, a bit uh, more tighter, yeah? Okay, that's two DCs, and then there's the half double crochet, and then we do all our single crochets. like so, seven singles, and then there's one half double crochet, one quite tight DC here after the half double crochet, and one normal DC into the same stitch, and then the corner DC, chain two, and a DC into the same stitch. Okay, now we've done all the three repeats, and then to finish it off the round, we are going to do two double crochets here into the next stitch, one half double, and then seven single crochets, two, three, four, five, and seven. And then we are going to join with our upcoming color. I hadn't quite decided what to use. <laughs> Let's do it in blue. With our upcoming color B, which will be the color for the petals, into the back loop of the first half double crochet here of the round. Okay, just shoop shoop one with a, a slip stitch and chain one here to fasten. Okay, so this is round seven all done. And as you can see, we now have a square which is not the perfect square, but once you block it, it will be. And when we frame it up. So now we have done round seven, and that's the last round I'm going to show you for Amma, because then rounds eight to nine are exactly the same. And obviously, if you want to do the tiny one, then, then you're all done. And so now you follow rounds eight to 23 for the Amma Saga square, or the first tutorial of our Carl. And... Oopa! Amma Thora, ready to go.